Tracy here with BibleJourneyMinistries.com and today I am unboxing a surprise box that Mr. Penn sent me. I'm so excited to see what's inside. So if you want to see what's inside with me, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what is, what is in the box that Mr. Penn sent me, hopefully? It's awesome Bible journaling goodies. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. We've got some styrofoam. We've got a big box. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Wow. It's a big box of fun goodies. <laughs> Let's see. It's a black a black box of of something. And it says, Thank you. We hope you love our products, Mr. Penn. Okay. So I got a black box with some fun goodies inside. Let's see. <laughs> okay so the first thing I got are pens these are called Bible study kit pens let me go ahead and I'll look through everything and then I'll test these at the end so you can see how good they are so this is a Bible study kit and it has one two three four five gel highlighters and I have used different Mr. Pen gel highlighters that I really like. So these are different colors than the ones I have. And then it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five pens that look like they might be fine liners. So we'll check those out. And then it says, oh, here are some Bible tabs. Bible tabs. It looks like, let's see. Let's see. Let's check these out. Mr. Pen Bible Tabs. So these are, oh, they tell you even how do you apply them. So there's some, there is a, a, um, a template if you want to use a template, but you know me, I'll probably not use a template. Oh, you get a lot of different ones. Okay, so let me show you kind of what's going on here so i have so first of all i have some blank ones which are always nice to have so we have some blank ones and then it looks like we have um some ones that say week on them so it looks like all the way many different week ones so starting here in week one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Um, so if you're doing, you know, organizing your Bible to read within 24 weeks, you could do that. Or you could use those in your planners. Then there's some more blank ones here. And then of course you have your uh, books of the Bible. These are beautiful. Oh, I love this one for Esther. I'm definitely gonna use these for sure. Um, these are so cute. I'm gonna have to tab up my Bible. These are really beautiful. Okay, so I really like these. Do I get, so let me just make sure I get, yeah, you get Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, all the way through Titus, and then we have Philemon, all the way through Revelation. So we get all of the New Testament and the Old Testament. And are these stickers? Yeah, cool, I'm gonna have to tab my Bible. These are really, really pretty. I do like these, those are great. How fun. Okay, so we get some, I got some Bible tabs here. Ooh, okay. This is nice. Okay, this is a Bible bag. And it says, 
praise be to the Lord. It has a nice handle with it. Ooh, okay. Praise be to the Lord. The Lord is my strength and my shield. Psalm 28, 7. And then you have a place to put things in. So like a little pocket there. That was so nice. Let's see. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Okay. Awesomeness. Okay. So this is awesome. Oh, so I grabbed my Bible. Let me just see if my Bible will fit in here. This is the one I've been taking to church. This one actually looks like it's just going to be a little bit. Eh, it'll fit. Okay, so we put our Bible. This is the one I've been using lately. Um, I put my notes in for um, that I that I that I write. I do a little bit of you know journaling while I'm at church, but mostly I just tip in my sermon notes. I don't know if you guys do that or not. Um, sometimes I do notes in the margin, stuff like that. And this is just a cheap Bible I picked up uh, just to kind of, you know, carry around with me. So I could put that in here in the side now. It's, it's, almost, it's almost a little bit too big, but this might work. Come on, it's almost there. There we go. Slide it in, girl. Slide it in. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. It's going to fit just perfect. Okay, awesome. So then I have my Bible. This is going to be great to take to church. Um, so then I have a pocket here for maybe stickers. Um, do these fit? Probably not. These look a little wide, but they might fit here. So I can tab. If I tab my Bible, it will still fit in here. That'll be nice. Okay, so then I you can put your stickers here. Um, you can put some pens here. Oh, look, here's my Mr. Pen, non bleed pen. I could put that there. This is so cool. And then um, you could put, you know, more stickers here. All the fun things here. Highlighters and things like that. And then there's actually a place here I could put my pen as well. And again, I mean, my, my Bible is kind of big for this, but it does work nicely. So yay, I'm ready to go to church. Look at that, isn't that cute? This is really cute. Okay, perfect. And not so bulky either. It's really nice and thin and compact. So you don't, um, and it actually has, I don't think I showed this to you guys, but there is some, um, a little bit of uh, reinforcement here and along the sides, there's like this extra reinforcement so your Bible won't get, the corners won't get dinged. You see mine are already getting dinged here. You know, um, that's because I just throw it in a Bible bag. But this one, because it's hooked onto the side, I think will reduce the amount of chance that these, these corners will get bent. See how that's bent? So this is a nice, a nice Bible bag. I'm super excited to have that. Thank you so much, Mr. Penn. That is amazing. Okay, so that is the Bible case. And they sent me... Oh, these are nice. These are called Bible Sticky Notes. Let's check these out. Oh, you get like a ton of them in here. Wow, okay. So you get two of each of these different ones. So let me... These are neat, okay. Let's just take them all out, okay. So you've got praying for, and then you have trust here at the bottom. And these are just sticky notes. So, you know, sticky notes for like, you know, your desk, or you're gonna put something on someone's, you know, you're gonna put like a little note on someone's, um, you know, your Bible or something. It's pretty, it's nice, it sticks pretty well. So you have that, and it says praying for trust, praying for, and then you have strength, for love, for faith, and you get praying for peace, praying for trust. I will probably give some of these to Taylor for hope, for hope, for strength, and for love here in our office. These would be really nice to have. So yeah, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve sticky pads. And they're pretty good. Pretty nice and very beautiful. I love it. 
thank you so much let's see what else we have wow i just you guys this whole box is full <laughs> it's so amazing and sweet of them to send this um let's check this out so this is bible journaling kit includes six bible highlighters four non-bleed Bible pens, four multi-liners, three Bible stencils, a six inch Bible study ruler, Bible tabs, and a pencil case. So we'll open this up at the end and test these out too. So we've got a couple pens to test out as well. I'm just gonna grab the rest of this. Wow, what a big box of awesomeness. That was, I mean, overdone, Mr. Pen. Thank you so much. Totally totally overdone okay so we're gonna test that out and then it looks like I have some more pens to test out for you guys these are the six piece 0.2 mm colorful fine liner pens and that is in multiple colors and this one these look like micron pens these are smear resistant quick dry and no bleed um, fine liners essentially in different sizes from 0, from 005 to looks like brush so we'll check these out too and see if they bleed in our bibles then we have this this looks like washi tape let's open that up wow so this is a bunch of like grid washi tape in like multiple different colors so it looks like I have two black grid, a gray grid, white, brown, and tan, and cream colors. So let's check these out. I mean, yeah, they, they stick nice. Look how many mustache stickers I have. <laughs> these are gonna be really fun in our faith art journaling class. I wanted to do um, some washi tape kind of collaging in my art journal, my faith art journal. So I'm going to try that with this washi, but man, it does really stick really, really well. It's really sticky. Yeah. Look, it sticks so good that I was able to rip off some of this cardboard. So this is a good sticky washi tape. That's nice. Okay. Thank you so much. This is amazing. It's like Christmas here. Will you guys tell me in the comments which one is your favorite? I would love to know. I'll have to tell you which one is my favorite when I'm all done. Okay. So this is, what is this? It says, give us, give us each our daily, give us each day our daily bread look 11 3 oh it's a planner oh it's a planner look at all my mush look at all my mustache stickers what should i do with my mustache stickers put them in my art journal i think i'll do a whole thing of mustaches on my art journal Oh, it says, recommendations. Before you're starting your day, remind yourself of the good news and your identity in Christ. Meditate on the verse daily. It's best to read a few verses before and after the verse of the day to get the context totally true. Pray. It can be as simple as the Lord's Prayer. It says, during the day, try to have a verse in mind all day long. Remember it in every decision you make and the words you say. And before going to bed, write your list of to-dos. Pray and write what you're thankful for on that day. These are really good recommendations. So let's check this out. Okay, so we have date. Is this an undated planner? Okay, so it's undated. And then it's like a devotional. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not, is it a, I'm kind of confused as to, I don't think it's, is it a planner? I think it's a planner slash devotion. It's like a devotion, an, an everyday devotion with a to-do and then notes. So it's kind of a planner. What does it say? I think it's a devotion. 
<laughs> I think it's a devotion slash planner. But let me show you what's inside so we can, you guys can tell me what you think this is. Is it a planner or is it a devotion? A daily devotion. It sounds like to me it's a daily devotion. That's what it feels like to me because there's no calendar, no monthly calendar. So I'm going to call this a daily devotion and maybe I have it spot on. But if I don't, let me know what you think it should be called. So we have a verse here. We have a reflection now. And then you have a to do in the notes. And then today I'm thankful for this is so important um, to kind of, you know, think through each day of your gratitude and, and, you know, what it is you're thankful for. And then it's again, we have the verse reflection to do notes. And today I'm thankful for. And then you also, I guess, so when you write the date, you can circle Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Kind of looking for patterns. That's what I usually do when I look at things. Okay, so then we have the Sunday sermon notes. So you can put your sermon notes there. And then again, you start Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday sermon notes. And then you also have weekly goals as well. So I think this would be really cool to kind of, it's almost like a Bible devotion. Like it's hard to say planner because there's no calendar dates in it. Although you could put your, your meetings here, which is probably what I would do, but it's really great because you have the, you have a place for devotion and you have some reflection and then you have, the to do and I love that the to do is read the Bible like every day <laughs> it's the same one read the Bible I mean it doesn't get better than that right that's cool um in terms of reflection questions they are different the, these are different this is great so they they really put this is this is great I'm so excited so you have you know your verse but then the reflection questions they actually they're not just general reflection questions. They literally talk about like, who's Paul writing to in this passage? You know, how does this affect me? Um, how does this, you know, change the way I I interact with my pastor? Um, we just grab, we just kind of throw some other ones there. Um, for First Thessalonians 3.12, write the passage in your own words, read this passage to yourself, what stands out to you. It's not like these are just repetitive. Um, they're different. This is like a whole like mega devotion. Like, and I bet there's probably 365 pages in here. This thing is like legit huge. This is nice. How exciting. And the binding actually is really nice too. So, um, wow, Mr. Penn, this is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So this is like a daily devotion slash, you know, sermon notes, goal setting, and, you know, slash, you know, almost a planner. <laughs> this is very cool. I like it. I really do. Um, let me uh, just, I like to, whenever I'm, you know, getting books and stuff to kind of weigh them and to like, you know, give you dimensions and things like that. For those of you who like to buy these and carry them in your purse. So this is about almost two pounds, one pound, 12 ounces, a little and one pound 12 and a half ounces so almost two pounds to carry it around in terms of your sizing so just uh the just from the edge here we're looking at about six and a half inches wide by about eight and a half inches tall if you want to include the spiral it's about almost seven inches if you count the spiral and in terms of your depth here it's a little over an inch so i think this is really nice this would be something that you could carry around with you to make sure you're reading the word every day reflecting on it this is this is really cool you can even put this next to your bed stand and do it every day this is great this is really good thank you mr pen um definitely we'll use that and uh it would be uh, you know challenging to fill it out every day. I mean, that sounds, sounds awesome. So thank you, Mr. Penn. That was way cool. <laughs> it's like, it's like my birthday. <laughs> it's so nice. 
Okay, let's test out some of these amazing things that they sent us. Oh, why don't we open this pack first? Um, because this one includes a lot of things inside of it. So let's open it up. Ooh, it comes with a um, pencil case. It says, encourage one another and build each other up. First Thessalonians 511. It's a nice, you know, pencil case. I'll, I'll stick it here so I can put all my pens in it. Um, then we have, what are these? What are these? They're highlighters. They're gel highlighters. Okay, so these these actually say, with God, all things are possible. Romans 5, 8. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same um, scripture, but different colors. So we'll, we'll test these out here. And then we have, just looks like a ballpoint pen. So we'll test those out too. So that one, and then it looks like fine liners. And then we have, another mustache sticker okay it says sometimes i can melt in excessive heat if this happens please contact mr pen and they will send you another one that's nice i mean i mean come on like that is some serious that's some serious customer service you can like they're going to ship you out a pen if one melts um you get the template here oh and then you get different bible tabs than the ones they sent me earlier so these are cool So these are your different tabs as well for all the books of the Bible. So it is a little different. It doesn't have the blank ones in there. Oh, it has some blank ones, but they're, they're all different. So if you buy the other pack, which I put into this case here, if you buy the other pack, then you're going to, and you get this one too, you're going to have different tabs. See? The tabs are different so these ones are smaller in different patterns so this is the one you get and they're they're pretty thick they're like cardstock whereas these are a little more thinner so hopefully that helps you if you're considering um, getting this so then I we have tabs and then it looks like we have some stencils let's look at the stencils So for the stencils, I'm trying to show you what the stencils look like. Here we go. So for this one, you have like little arrows and a house and little bubbles and uh, templates and things you can outline. This will be good for underlining and boxing in things. These would be cool for, I think, for for highlighting like these like little banners and things. That looks cool. And then we have this one here that says hope. And then some more banners. I love the little party flags and the different, um, you know, banners or stars or different elements. That's cool. And then you have your alphabet. And I like the Roman numerals too, that's cool. And then you've got, what else do you get? Then you also get, this is nice. Now these are um, ruler. And in the ruler, it has your verses. So it has, I mean your verses, your books of the Bible. Let's see. Let's check it out. Oh, it's like rubbery. That's cool. I don't have one that's like rubbery like that. I don't know. That's just really cool. <laughs> I don't know why. It just surprised me. I was expecting one that'd be like super hard, but no, it's not. It's like flexible. So you have Old Testament books of the Bible. This is nice. Then you have the New Testament books of the Bible. It's nice because sometimes like when you're in church, like they'll say, oh, turn to, you know, 
James and you're like, oh, I know James is in the New Testament, but where is it? And um, it's towards the back. So you can just look at your ruler. I think that's cool. All right, let's do some testing of, of these pens to see, you know, how they perform in our Bible. So let's start out with this kit first, this Bible journaling kit full of awesomeness. And let me grab my old school Bible. And I'm going to test on this because this one has super thin pages. And if it bleeds through this, we know it's going to bleed through. Um, well, if it doesn't bleed through this, it's not going to bleed through anything else. I guess that's the best way to say it. So we'll start off with the gel highlighters. Let me just, let me just flip to some some Psalms. We'll test in the book of Psalms. This, this Bible is so old, you guys, um, but I love it and I still use it to this day. So let's start in Psalm 70. It says, hey sin, oh God to save me. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight that with my gel highlighter here. It does go on really nice and smooth and that's nice. Let me grab some, let me grab all of them. And we'll test all the colors out. May those who seek my life be put to shame and confusion. By the way, this is a Psalm of David. May all who desire my ruin be turned back into disgrace. May those who say to me, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation always say, say, let God be exalted. Let God be exalted. That's yes. It says, yet I am poor and needy. Come quickly to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Okay, so I have just taken these gel highlighters. Um, they are, they do feel a little bit, uh, I don't know if the word wet is, but they, they are kind of like, they feel kind of um, smooth, but not dry. So let's see if I need to maybe make them dry, but I'm just gonna see if I can't get some of them to transfer to the other side. Okay, so they're not, they're not transferring over with just me rubbing, which is nice. So that means if you use your highlighter in your Bible and you don't wait for it to dry, you just close the the, the Bible, um, they're not going to transfer to this side, which is nice. Now, if I came in and, and like really dug in there, let me just kind of dig in there with the edge of this. You, you're going to get a little bit of transfer, but not that much. So I would say these gel highlighters um, work really well in your Bible. So very pretty, very nice. They go on smoothly and you could literally, you know, decorate a whole page with one of these if you wanted to. You could come in and, you know, go to town. Um, let's see if they blend. Let me just kind of just add a little color to this page real fast and just see if I can't get these gel pens to blend together and see what kind of beautiful awesomeness we can make. So I've got a little bit of the pink and the blue kind of next to each other. And I'm just going to take my finger and just try to get them to blend together. And it looks like I'm doing a good job of getting them to blend together. Because my pink and my blue are making purple. So they do blend together. They blend nicely together. And pink and blue does make purple. So I'm just going to add a little more color here. So if you want something that, you know, if you're if you're worried about bleed through, which I, you know me, I'm never worried about bleed through. Um, but if you are, and you wanna have some like different colors and things in your Bible, uh, you could use these gels, these gel highlighters to kind of give you a little color to your pages without bleeding through, if that's something that concerns you. But it's pretty, look at that, it blends really nicely. And I'm just blending with my finger. No bleed through at all. Let me see if I get any different results if I blend a little bit with some, you know, just a little moist. So I'm just gonna grab a baby wipe. Yep, I'm actually, I'm pulling off the cover, the color pretty easy with the baby wipe. So 
it is going to move with a baby wipe so if you want a lighter background color then you could use the baby wipe um, but i wouldn't I'd, I'd rather have the color on there but it looks nice so um that is your gel highlighter all right let's flip on to psalm let's find another psalm here to work on psalm 75 and i'm, I'm going to test out the fine liners that came in the Bible study kit that they sent me. Remember, it came in this kit here, the Bible journaling kit. All right, so I'm going to try the multi-liner pens, and we're going to underline here Psalm 75, where it says, um, <clears throat> We give thanks to you, O Lord. We give thanks, for your name is near. Men tell of your wonderful deeds. You say, I chose the appointed time. It is I who judge uprightly. When the earth and all of its people quake, I'm gonna change colors now. That's a very thin liner pen. Um, so for those of you guys who are asked, like wondering, that is like super thin. Um, I can compare it, let's see, maybe if I wanna compare my thinnest, Micron pen is an 005. So that is an 005. That's thicker than an 005. Let's see. Let's try an 01. Yeah, it's like in between. It's like almost an 01 in terms of um, in terms of width. So I'm gonna keep going. I'm not seeing any bleed through. It is I who hold its pillars firm to the arrogant. I say boast no more and to the wicked. Do not lift up your horns. Do not lift your horns against heaven. Do not speak with outstretched neck. No one from the east or the west or from the desert can exalt a man, but it is God who judges. It's harder for me to see this gray. This gray is very faint. Um, let me look at the green. He brings one down, he exalts the other. In the hand of the Lord is a cup full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours it out and all the, and all the wicked of the earth drink it down to the very dregs. Um, so here are the fine liners. No bleed through at all. And again, this is a regular Bible page, so super thin. So if it doesn't bleed in my super thin Bible page, it's not gonna bleed in your journaling Bible. So the fine liners are working well. Let me grab some of these, looks like ballpoint pens here. These are called non-bleed Bible pens. That's what they're calling them. So let's see if that's true. There's a little piece of plastic on it, so you have to take off the plastic. And it says, as for me, I will, that's nice. That, that's very nice and smooth. I will declare this forever. I will sing praise to the God of Jacob. And I like the design on these too. It's not just a generic Mr. Pen pen. I will cut off the horns of all the wicked, but the horns of the righteous will be lifted up. Let me grab this green one here. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a little wavy line around the entire Bible page. And then for the black one, take that off too. Um, I'm just gonna kind of put some arrows here to point to Psalm 75. I'm just kind of decorating it a little bit. just so we can see. So these are non-bleed Mr. Pen pens and no bleed through, just ghosting. It looks good. I think, um, I bet if I came in and continue to just kind of add more of the black, I bet we might be able to get it to bleed through. Let's try, because I have gotten theirs to bleed through before. Just a tad bit, just a little bit. 
but in general they're pretty nice the kit in general is a nice kit so i'm just putting everything back in the little case and now we're going to try these other ones that they sent so this is the bible study kit that mr penn sent me so let me open that up boy i'm not going to have to get pens ever these are a ton of pens and more more of the items here and again letting you know that if you you know get a pen that melts just email them and they will get you a new one a little note here that says thank you for shopping mr pen it means a lot to us that's so sweet they seem to be a really sweet company um, i do enjoy that they have a whole bible journaling line that's nice makes things simple and and i think the prices are pretty reasonable too all right let's do another one let's do psalm 80. i'm going to use the sleek this is sleek pastel gel highlighter it says, Hear us, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you sit enthroned between the cherim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, Man Menace. I can't say that right. Awaken your might, come and save us, restore us, O God. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. These are pretty pastel colors. O oh Lord God Almighty, how long will your anger smolder against the prayers of your people? You fed them with the bread of tears. You have made them drink tears by the bowlful. You have made us a source of contention to our neighbors and our enemies. Mock us. This is kind of cool that I'm working in Psalms because in Momentum this month, our digital Bible journaling um program we're we're working in psalms so it's just nice to kind of come back in and do more um it says restore us O god almighty make your face shine upon us that we may be saved you brought us you brought a vine out of egypt you drove out the nations and plant, planted it okay so here are your pastel colors i'm gonna smooth out my my purple a little bit i kind of came in a little dark so I'm just taking my finger and just kind of smoothing out and, and blending the edges together so it all kind of comes together. So I think that's really pretty. I don't have any bleed through, so that is nice. Let me grab my pens here, my fine liners, and I'm gonna do a little bit of um, mark making here. And just so we can see what kind of bleed through we're gonna get. Oh, we're not going to get it. I don't think we're going to get any bleed through with these. I'm just doing a little wavy of all the different colors just to kind of just create a little border here with the fine liners. Let's see. Yeah, no bleed through. And I don't think you're going to get any bleed through with these. I may come in here and try to you know really make it bleed through we'll see so there's the light blue there here's the pink a little faint these pastel colors you know they're a little faint of course they are pastel so we know pastels are a little lighter than other colors but yeah no bleed through a little old ghosting on the pink, but not too bad. Let me just add, let me grab, since we think the pink might be challenging, let me grab that one. No, I think it was the purple. Is it the purple that I think might be a little challenging? Let's see. Yeah, it's the purple. Um, let me grab the pur purple real quick, and I'm just going to do like a heart here and just kind of add like a ton of ink to it and just see if I can't get it to bleed through, which I know I'm going to be able to. Because I just added a ton of ink to this. Yeah. Okay. So if you take your pen <laughs> and you write over it and keep going and make like the darkest spot ever, um, yeah, you're going to get bleed through. Gonna come in here and just add a little more to that. I'd like to get some evenness to this. To this heart yeah so you you will get bleed through if you come in there and really dig into it but if you just are underlining and making lines you're not going to have a problem with any of these 
and this was called the Bible study kit. So if you're just, you know, writing, you know, words and where the lines are pretty thin, you're not going to have any problems with bleed through. So that's your Bible study kit. All right, let's do these. These are the colorful fine liners and they are 0.2 mm is what they say. So let's test these out as well. I'm going to keep going in the verse. It says, you clear the ground for it and took root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade. I'm testing all the pins out today. The mighty cedars with its branches set out its bows to the sea. It shoots as far as the river. Why have you broken down its walls so that all the past by so that all who pass by pick its grapes. Boars from the forest ravage it, and the creatures of the field feed on it. Return to us, O Lord. Return to us, O God Almighty. Look down from the heaven and see. Watch over this vine. The roots of your right hand has planted the sun. You have raised up for yourself. All right, let's see. And let's do the black too. Your vine is cut down. It's burned with fire. That's your rebuke. Your people perish. Let your hand rush on the man that you, at your right hand, the son of man you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, Lord God Almighty, and make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. All right, fine liners. Fine liners, ghosting, no bleed through. Let me see if I can't get it to bleed through. I'm sure I can, but let me just dig in there, see if I can't get some of this to bleed through a little bit, just so you see. A little bit just on the edge a lot of ghosting so this these pens actually i was surprised actually i was expecting that to be really a lot more bleed through let me try to dig this one in a little bit a little bit of bleed through a lot of ghosting these are these work really nice so i would use these in my bible too and not be worried about bleed through and stuff like that so these ones are called the six piece two 0.2 mm colorful fine liner so nice pen all right these ones i'm really curious about because you guys know how much i love my micron pen these look like twins i wonder if they're made by the same well, i'm not even gonna speculate but these are new it's an eight piece black multi-lighter says multi-liner smear resistance quick dry no bleed ideal for drawing journaling and underlining so I use mine all the time. You guys know, you've seen me use my Micron pen. So we'll see if these bleed through or not. Let's do Psalm 91. Psalm 91, I'm gonna start with my 005. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. No bleed through, some ghosting. Um, let's do, let's do the 06 next. I will save the Lord. He is my, refu my refuge and my fortress, my God whom I trust. Nope. Surely he will save you from the fowler snare, snare and from the deadly pestilence. This is 05. Some ghosting, no bleed through. I'm just gonna keep going because if I didn't get it with the five I'm, or six, I'm not gonna get it with the three. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. This is the two. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. 01. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Looking at number one. Whoa. Okay, so this one's going to be a dark one. Okay, so we'll go look at this one in just a minute. Okay. So we have all of the fine liners, and they're just fine, no bleed through. 
Now we're gonna go into a number one, which is like super thick. And I'm just gonna add a little lines just across the top of the page and at the bottom, just to kind of create some interest on this page. Tons of ghosting, no bleed through, that's amazing. Um, I can get it to bleed through though, give me a chance. Give me a chance, we can do it. We just gotta add more ink. If you want bleed through, add more ink. Huh, nope, let's do it again. This time I'll add even more ink. Ooh, we're getting super thick in there. Super big, a lot of ink laid down. Yep, a little bit of bleed through. Wow, this that's pretty impressive, honestly. All right, so this is a brush pen here, the BR brush pen. And I'll just do, um, I'll do a line down the middle, down the edge, just kind of connecting my hearts. Okay, beautiful brush pen, by the way. No bleed through. Let me see if I can't get it to bleed through. I'm sure I can. Um, I'm very impressed with these pens. This is probably the worst heart I have ever made. <laughs> Let me fix that for you. There we go. Okay, that's a super big heart with a lot of ink on it. And I do get a little bit of bleed through here on this thin Bible page. Um, but wow, in general, um, I just want to look at these again. It says smear resistant, quick dry and no bleed. Ideal for drawing, journaling and underlining. So I don't know if they're if this is archival ink. So I think I'm going to ask them. I, I would think that they would have said if it's archival ink, because I mean, it's kind of a big deal. Um, but, you know, it's not like this is going to be out in the sun all day long. Um, I really like these pens, so I think I'll add them to my list of pens to use. So, wow, in general, um, I hope this review was helpful to you. If it is, please give this review a thumbs up. And uh, I'll put some links in the description if you're interested in purchasing some Mr. Pen products. Um, it was really nice of them to send this, so I'm excited. And I just want to thank them so much for... Um, what a surprise birthday gift, <laughs> even though it's not my birthday. It's a surprise unbirthday gift. Thank you, Mr. Penn. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye.